well, I am in the press and com in the conference of the exopolitic area with um, a character, a, a man that you are watching now that uh, became famous because of an interview by the Project Camelot in which he, he didn't show his face. For and now this is the years. first time. Uh, what's your name, please? Uh, my name is uh, Arthur Neumann. Mm. It's a German last name, uh -huh. Neumann. Uh, you worked uh, for 30 years in the research area, in very um, research, critics uh, area. Manufacturing, logistics, um, uh, pretty much every area of government and government contracting, but mostly government. I've had, uh, I've held top secret queue clearance mm. for um, at Livermore uh, Labs, Lawrence Livermore Labs. Mm. I've held. Uh, um, uh, secret clearances uh -huh. uh, in aerospace uh -huh. and uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. I've, I've held top secret uh, clearances with certain extensions um, uh, up until around uh, 2004 hmm. um, working at other agencies, uh, yeah. with other agencies. Uh, can, can you say which is your uh, specialized, uh, speci my speciality? Spe my speciality is, is a very general mm -hmm. with techno all a, a, a wide spectrum of technologies, uh. Uh, technologies and also coordination, project management, program mm -hmm. management, um, not only with um, the Department of Defense, uh, working with all the military forces, mm. but also working with um, uh, other countries' mm. military as well. For instance, do you have, a, do you know anything about the psychotronic weapons, the electromagnetic weapons? Yeah, pulsed electronic weapons in general. Yes, oh. uh, I've, I've known of the, their existence and the research that's been done. I've been aware of it. The uh, inside um, with the research of weapons, of course, since the middle 1970s. Uh, uh, can you tell us uh, which kind of uh, weapons uh, they have uh, developed uh, and uh, w which are the, the, the uses the, the of these weapons? There, there are so many weapons. Yeah. There was uh, a microwave bomb, yeah. the neutron bomb, um, of course, uh, whatever, uh, particle beam acceleration type bombs, so mm. particle beam weapons been uh, many different projects along those lines. Then uh, sound weapons using um, highly focused directed sounds. So uh, can you confirm us that uh, do this government uh, has um, weapons to, in order to harass people, uh, special people, critic people, in order oh. to, to make them stress it and even um, oh. make illness? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yes, definitely, yes. There's many different technologies that that are being used constantly, even in the cities, and uh, and as well as just for specific targets as ah. well. So. This black helicopter that uh, many researchers uh, told us about that uh, is ruling uh, uh, ab uh, above their their homes. Uh, can you tell? Can you confirm that they could be used in the, in this uh, I area? I don't know who. Who's, 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 uh, what are you talking about? Uh, there are several people researchers. Many years, black yeah. helicopters. Yes. Some of them are black helicopters, and some of them look like helicopters, uh, but they're not helicopters. So what? What? So, what are they? They're just. Uh, I don't know the details on on those helicopters. I just know that there. Some of them are just. Uh, what, what do you call it? Kind of cloaked to look like helicopters, but that's that was years ago. So I don't but know what. That what? What's What's that in, 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 in fact? Surveillance. Surveillance, okay. So. Surveillance and, and maybe possibly some abduction uh, uh. type work, but by, not by aliens. Uh -huh. yeah. So you, the scientists that uh, work or work it in, in these classified um, programs, um, I'm more of are a... you conscious of the people who work it with you? Are you conscious that you are working for the bad people or you just do the job and you forget the use of this work they are going to do? There are good people working and there are bad people working inside and, uh, and there are people who have families that they want to take care of and so they're trapped in the job because otherwise they have no job and it's, a, 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 it's always a battle internally as to, for some people, as to whether to resign and have no job or continue 
and then there's there's a lot of discussion um, about that. Uh, my intention from the very beginning has been, from the beginning when I was a child, has been to go inside and then learn and then move on and go inside again and learn and move on to another position in different places. So uh, I've never been in one place. The maximum time I've worked for one place was maybe at most three or four years, hmm. four years. And then I moved to a, another job. But I didn't apply for most of these jobs. I never applied or looked for the job. They just telephoned me at random mm -hmm. and find me. So, mm -hmm. Can you describe, uh, describe uh, us uh, the way it works, um, this mechanism of uh, um, classifying? I mean, uh, you work in Los Alamos on Levermore, uh, so that um, can you describe us people who, who doesn't know anything how these uh, laboratories works uh, the way they classify the, the special information how they decide what to classify yeah no, no i mean i mean and, and you are uh, in the yeah. kitchen uh, yeah. in, in, in the living room uh, with the, all the, the scientists you know what the other ones knows or do you only know a couple of the things well you know what i mean yeah for many jobs uh, uh, Almost uh, many jobs, it's always compartments, you that's, know, that's it. um, because uh, yeah, that's what you focus on. So you have no need to know what's happening somewhere else. Mm. You're focused in a certain area. But as time progressed, my compartments expanded with more compartments until the last job I had, there was no compartments at all is, that I was aware of mm. because of the nature of the work. Mm. I had I was like an, on a team where I had mm. to what we call customers, mm. and the customers yeah. included NSA mm. and the other three-letter agencies mm. and four-letter agencies from different countries, mm. plus um, other, or, uh, what other customers mm. that don't have any names. Uh -huh. uh, and I don't know them by name, I just meet with them. So it, no compartmentalization was necessary because of what the work I, w I was volunteered for oh. to work as a small team to to kind of be, to filter the information between these different organizations. Uh, so, uh, can you explain to us uh, the goal of this project in particular? That project in particular, the goal was, uh, it was multiple goals, but it was to try and uh, find a way to, for these different groups to communicate and yet uh, respect their what respect their um, privacy, what they don't want uh -huh. between each other, because they don't they don't want to openly uh -huh. share information between each other completely, but to find a, a way, a mechanism for them to be able to communicate uh -huh. um, what they want to communicate. Something in a like safe a, a secure intranet, something like that, or but that too. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but with a filtering. Filtering. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so so that means that um, I had to. I had to be, have access to all of their information, um, so that just happened, you know. So, so uh, as long as you know about uh, tele telecommunications, uh, can you tell us if um, everybody's worried about the Big Brother? Uh, they, these people, yeah. know every, everything about well, us. Well, uh, you can't hide anything. Yes. Right now, we're having the interview. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm pretty certain that everything is is very well documented. Mm. You know, it's just a matter of um, whether they have an interest in it or not. Mm. You know, um, so you don't have any privacy, um, and especially when the, in the electronic era, every transaction you do, every phone call, every hotel place you stay, every person you meet, is, everything. It sounds like a song. Is is um, they'll be watching you. No. But it's, it's not nothing to fear, you know. This is the important thing, is stop being afraid of everything. Yeah. Because um, that fear is... Today, what we need to focus on is the opposite of fear. It's, mm. it's uh. to, be, to look forward and be happy uh -huh. about this baby that I uh -huh. spoke of that's being born and celebrate mm. the change and realize that there's pain involved in this mm. change. And, and these, these black factions and such, uh, these dark operations, they are very weak. Mm. They are very weak and powerless. Really? Yes, they're very weak 
especially if you if you realize if you could understand that the that we're living in a in a a, a, a galaxy full of full of worlds uh -huh. and people people like you and me basically that have gone through the same experience as as the people here on earth the same experience long ago and it's a continuing thing and they and, and and they already know what's going to happen but they're they're watching this this change happen now and they're supporting it and helping gently and quietly uh, gently and quietly behind scenes and if you are aware of that then you don't have anything to be afraid of um, no. why are you are you so sure of that because I've met so many of these people ah tell us tell us my, um, I've met these people even before I worked uh -huh. you know, and and for other reasons which I'd rather not explain on video right now um, because of where I come from as well what what do you come from But uh, can you tell us if the first contact is close, as they say a lot of people? The first well, contact the with this. Well, the first contact, I think that's planned, is not a real contact. It's 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 a, a it's the, it is the plan is a fictitious a fictitious threat. Oh. Uh, but this fictitious threat, if you see UFOs and they're mechanical or such, oh. the uh, it's a, the highest probability is that, especially if they are look like a threat or an enemy. Yeah just realize that that that's only temporary and they're not from they're not from another place a, another another planet they are created enemy as part of the government so, operations uh, so you confirm the the secret government has and uh, these tools this this they, uh, have this, the, they have the technology and tools this technology. for a long time yeah but um, they I mentioned the report from Iron Mountain which many people say is just science fiction it's not science fiction because mm. That material, the same material, was handed to me in a meeting in Tucson, Arizona, in the 1980s. Directly. Yeah, directly in a meeting. Yes. Ah, you, a government meeting you that read it. I went to. Uh -huh. yeah. um, you read and it. It was a surprise to me because I didn't know what the nature of the meeting was. Uh -huh. But um, we we were flown to Tucson, Arizona, and stayed at a hotel room, mm -hmm. and then the um, and then we got together, and at the end of the first meeting. They handed out the report from Iron Mountain, but not in book form, but in paper format. And that's where I first learned of the plans from the Rand Corporation. Uh, uh -huh. um, uh, to, yeah. You are one of the first person I know that uh, com confirms the, uh, the, the Iron Mountain uh, inform. It is. It's. It's. Uh. It's. it's it may, I, I, I don't have the paperwork anymore, mm. but it was almost. It's exact. Uh, Close or almost exactly the same thing as in the book that's now in print again. That's so for, for you, the swine flu epidemia is just part of, of this uh, plan. I can't say epidemics are natural things. They're natural epidemics, of course, you know. Um, but but in my opinion, the swine flu is in this case. This is a dangerous thing, but it's my opinion only. Mm. My preparation is to take vitamin D3. D, letter D, three. three. What's that? Um, What's that? D3. A vitamin. Ah, vitamin. Vitamin, okay. Vitamin okay. D3, D3. Ah. 2,000, 2,000 IU, 2,000 ah. international units ah. every day, or ah. two, 5,000. Ah. Uh, the sun, the, for, for certain reasons, the sun converts your, in your skin when it hits your skin in, uh, into vitamin D3, but because of the nature of the sun now and other factors, um, th that won't work in this case. But for general, for gripe, you call it gripe, or mm -hmm. a flu, oh, um, gripe, any kind of flu, mm -hmm. vitamin D3 uh, will re reduce your chances greatly of getting any mm -hmm. kind of flu. Oh. Okay. Oh. So I recommend that mm -hmm. as a supplement for, and for other reasons too that have no. nothing to do with and the, the vaccine, uh, do you recommend? To I, I will not to take put, the vaccine, no. and um, I, I told my family members yeah. not to uh, as well. I, I told them two years ago, mm -hmm. three years ago, not to do this. Mm -hmm. On the Project Camelot site, there's some documentation, I believe, yeah. that was from long ago that I, uh, I talked about the flu, mm -hmm. and this was before anything came in the news. Mm -hmm. So 
I knew this in advance. You know that the American people, they, they are telling, um, there are some information, some gossips saying that the government is going to uh, oblige, oblige, uh, I'll make it obligatory. Uh, make it obligatory yeah. to the people to put it, you know? Yeah, this of course is the plan, is to, is to make it obligatory with heavy flop penalties and fines, you mm. know? But um, I still won't take it. Mm. Um, I will not take the vaccine especially if it's forced and I, I don't take flu vaccines anyway uh -huh. um, so so uh, do you think that um, the secret government has already contact with uh, other extraterrestrial beings such as the Zeta reticulian reptilians on this kind of stuff I don't when people talk about a secret government first of all I'd like to mention that um, the the governments like when we talk about the level of the president or the royal family or such, they don't have access to this information or knowledge, as far as I know. And this is what, because I, because I, this is what my experience has been: is they only can go through certain levels of security, and then the rest for for touring, you know, for this is what we have, you know, and this and that. But so they're not aware of of the of what's happening off world, you know. Yeah. They have no communication with these these people, um, so they're so. When you ask about secret government, I need to know what so what you mean by secret government. Uh, who has the power? Kissinger, Rockefeller, who who is who is in, in charge? Mean, you have power. You're in charge of running the, uh, yeah. the interview, yeah. and then. Uh, so it's different levels of power and strength of power. I mean, and, and in each person. So you don't believe this is well centralized in three persons, uh, something like that? Do, do you believe this? As the, there are some people uh, says that there are a couple of people of uh, several people that has this power concentrated. Well, in. there are people that there are small groups uh, that meet that do have power. Uh, uh, including one that I mentioned in the Zurich conference that I don't want to mention again, three-letter agency that isn't spoken about very much. But um, dealing the, with uh, satellites and so on, yeah, for, that, for instance. That, that okay. But the uh. thing is, is that ultimately they still they have their limits as to what power they really have. They want power, and they've been trying to have power for a long time. But in, in the next few years, they will completely lose all of their power very shortly. Why? Because of all the changes that are taking place oh. and converging now. So, you know? what's the role of the humankind in this, all this story? The, this is a, something like uh, yeah. governments and people like here in the disclosure project in a higher level position, but we, the people, what can we do well, in, in this story? Can do, the best thing is very simple. If you have different belief systems, different religions, mm. you need to open up, open up your heart and uh, and and realize that we're all here together mm. and respect each other's mm. beliefs as best as possible. Um, understand that we, we share we share a common we share a common ancestry, not um, just here, but our whole galaxy. Yeah. Our galaxy, we have a common. Heritage. Galactic consciousness. It's, it's the galaxy, not the universe, but the galaxy. But right now, we need to just focus on what happens here on the planet and help each other, and, and stop fighting over my God and your God. You know, it doesn't make any difference. You know? But uh, do you think some pressure in the streets by the by the people, but the common people could be um, a pressure to the government in order to um, disclose the information? Um, the, if you want to do something, do it in a non-violent yeah, way. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, if you have anger, that will, that that will just it will it will support the agendas of the the, mm. the people who are trying oh. to have power over you. But but this is again this is a very temporary thing. Mm. All this fighting and all this suppression is temporary. And even if you don't do anything outwardly, it, the change it will still take place. Oh. The birth of the new world, not the new world order like uh, Bush, but the new world will still happen very shortly. And you should feel this and be aware of this. Two short questions just to finish. Uh, one, uh, first one, um, can you tell us um, secret uh, technologies that uh, make come, um, make free ourselves um, when the, the secret government uh, fall? 
Well, there are technologies, of course, uh, using the Kashmir effect or the zero point energy. That's a definite. I pointed it out in exist. Zurich. It's a definite, and this is not even classified information. It's just um, you need to know where to go to, to see it. I'm talking about in government. It's not even classified. And neither is gravity shielding, which is similar to anti gravity. But it's shielding. You, you take the material and you put it here something above it and and, the, and it lessens the it shields the gravitational force this this technology exists and there are places you can go you can go to x x x you know dot l a n l dot gov los alamos national labs dot gov uh -huh. go to that website x x x dot uh -huh. l a uh -huh. and 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 then do a little search uh -huh. dig through their archives their physics archives so we, we can have a uh, um flying saucers in, in a short period of time, yeah, you using can, it. You can have that. The thing is, is that we need to balance this, all this technology that's, that is available uh, or uh, can become public. We need to first work on the spiritual and the sociological problems. But uh, where are the plans, uh, the maps? To, to do it, uh, these flying sources. Do, do you think it's going to be released such as uh, open source sof software? Could be a, a Linux uh, <laughs> way of uh, creating yeah, yes, flying yes, sources? It's going to be released from many, many different sources. Yeah. Just from people probably in here in the conference even uh -huh. today. There are people who have are, are working on these. On, yeah, really? On, yeah, as, as but, businesses but, that, that are coming forward. Businesses? Yeah, as their yeah. own new businesses. Ah, okay. And as, as, so it's, it's slowly coming. Brian O'Leary, for instance, no, is, is in, in this field. Fra Brian O'Leary, yes, a friend. Like he's, what, he's, uh, he's in this business. Well, I, I don't know what he's doing with, in the, in, with the machines or anything, but as far as um, zero-point energy technology in its best form, I could, I could describe it as you can have just a small little box that looks like this and and can direct conversion into electrical energy or whatever you want and there's no moving parts no mechanical spinning magnets or anything like that it's so simple that it's it looks like magic yeah and you just do that and you can power with the correct wiring but what, what's the key uh, of the zero point energy what's the key to create it uh, well how does it work? Yes. Well, there are different approaches, but the, the, one of them is basically a very, uh, um, very small layering of materials. Layering of materials, almost like a capacitor. Capacitor uh -huh. is manufactured. Uh -huh. um, small layers um, of material, and then um, we we're tapping the energy from that. But it's it's a simple solid state type of technology that can be used. Does uh, zero point energy uh, re, uh, ha, uh, has anything to do with uh, orgon energy? Uh, I don't know uh, anything about orgon energy. No, no. I mean I've seen it and and uh, I I don't have any experience with yeah. it. Okay. Okay. The other question was um, about the Obama administration. Do you expect anything positive about these issues we are Commenting about the, uh, I've been, because of the I've been uh, up and down with my feelings about Obama, uh -huh. you know. So I don't know. I'm, uh, it's uh, really not Obama. Um, I don't think. I I think it's it's just what happens with this world as a whole is really a natural, almost a natural event. Uh, events are happening, and it's not a matter of whether someone makes a decision in office to release information. This is all happening very naturally, yeah. you know. It's not so, any decisions. Uh, we, need, we don't need, need the, the government to, to release the information. No, That's no. What you don't need the government to release the information. <laughs> I am a, I'm very yeah. agree with you. <laughs> I'm very agree. No, we don't have to ask for the government and, and, to do it. And don't expect the government yeah. to have any information yeah. to release to you. Yeah. Because the governments, like I was talking about, the governments, don't have this information to release. So, uh, th so this information is already in the public yeah. domain. It's just coming, it's like flowers growing out of uh, 
out of the soil, you know, that it's blooming everywhere. We have internet you know? just put in action yeah. the, the people. And also, you know, great inventions and so, things in the past have been discovered simultaneously in different places on the planet. Mm -hmm. How is this possible? Mm -hmm. It's because it's happening in a, in a different dimension, from a different dimension. And this is how this information is released. It's not released no. through government. The information is in Internet, just for finishing the, the interview. Uh, do you think they are going to um, close the, the, the freedom in the Internet? Uh, can can, can do, and they do it? Well, they're, they're, they can attempt to it, and they can shut it down, um, but... And there may be a period of time where the internet may slow down mm. a lot, mm. but then we're talking about who who are they, yeah. you know? So the internet was originally uh, structured so Our that planet. you cannot shut it down, yeah. you know? But so, it may, so it may slow down. That's all. Mm. Slow down to a crawl. Uh -huh. um, and so think about alternative ways of communication. But a new form of communication will come in a few years where you don't, you, you won't need internet anymore anyway. Which one? Telepathy. Something like that. Ah, that's it. And, uh, that's it. And, and people will just, it will be a natural thing ah, too. Heart, heart communication. Yes. Right? And that's what, ha that's what's happening at the conferences. People will experience this, you know. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Thank you so much yeah. for your information, oh. uh, for your brave. Yeah. It just and uh, turn and off your, your television. Turn off your yeah. television. Okay, I, I will do it.